Welcome. In front of me is an iPad Air 5th generation and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this device. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with this screen right over here and all you really need to do uh, to get started is just swipe up. If the camera could focus, that would be great. There we go. So, uh, from here, uh, data and privacy, just select continue. You can obviously tap on the blue text to read exactly what, you, uh, what this is. Uh, this brings us to the next page, which is setting up Touch ID. So, this would be on the power key right here. If you want to set it up, go right ahead. Uh, tap on continue. I will skip this, so I'm gonna set, set the setup touch ID later and don't use. This brings me to the next page, which is uh, create a passcode. Um, now, I don't want to set it up, so I'm just gonna skip it, but obviously, you can choose one right here. You can also select passcode options, which allows you to change it so you can have a alphabetical one, a numeric one, four digit one, uh, because this is the numeric one by default, or don't use at all, which I will select again, don't use passcode. And this will set me, oh, send me to the next page, which is apps and data. This allows me to transfer uh, all my data from some other device to here. And that can be either through an iCloud backup from my PC uh, or well, just a computer in general from another iPad or Android device, or don't transfer any apps or data and basically set it up as new, which is what I'm gonna go with. And this brings me to the next page, which is Apple ID. Now. Uh, by default, Apple wants you to log in, obviously, uh, and even though I recommend logging in, I'm not going to be doing it just to save on time. Uh, but the reason for logging in is, is basically everything on this iPad revolves around you being logged in. So things like find my device, uh, data that is stored on iCloud, uh, downloading apps, uh, and anything along those lines requires you to be logged into Apple ID. Uh, if you for instance, can't log into it at this moment because, I don't know, internet being spotty or some kind of reason, you can select it right here. So forgot password, don't have an Apple ID. And then you can set that, this option right here. So set up later and settings and select like don't use. And this is for the people that just want to finish up the setup without actually logging in. There we go. Now, obviously right here we have terms and conditions on the next page. So. The only option here is to agree to them. You can't do it without agreeing. And this will bring us to the next page, which is keep your iPod up to date. Um, now, it kind of sounds like it's an option, but trust me, it is not. It's Apple, so they will beat you with an update. They will beat you literally into submission. If you try to reset the device uh, through, for instance, your computer, guess what? You first need to download the newest version of iOS. Uh, you don't have internet? Well then, too effing bad because you're not even gonna get anything done because they can't check if this is the newest version. So just select continue, completely disregard this stupid message. It's not like you have a choice in here. Now, next page will bring us to something that we do have a choice, uh, choice in, which is uh, location services. You can use them or not. Obviously, location services are used for applications like maps, so it knows exactly where you are on the map and can give you an accurate route to your destination, as an example. So, if you want to, you can use it. If you don't care, just select Disable Location Services and go to the next page. I have screen time, which is just some uh, data gathering stuff uh, about how you, I guess, interact with the device. Uh, iPad analytics, again, more just analytic stuff. You can read exactly what this is um, right here about device analytics and privacy. Uh, I can share that with Apple or select don't share if you don't want to share your, well, your usage with Apple. Next thing, uh, we have appearance. This is just cosmetics. Uh, you have the light and the dark mode, so you can choose whichever one you prefer more. Uh, I'll stick with light one and then this basically finishes up the setup. So let's like get started and here we go. The device is now fully set up. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.